Hello and welcome to a new video of my Unity MMO tutorial series and in this lecture we want to start with the character selection and therefore we have to do some code and and some UI stuff and I will start with, with some code and we have to go to our main server or master server and we have to go to the business and our user repository and our i user repository and i will add a new function and this will be an ie num variable and this will be a character model and we will call it get characters get characters by id and we will add our user id and this is because um, it's an easy function and we can get all uh, characters we need and we can uh, go to the top of our user repository and as you can see we have to implement um, stuff so we need to go to this kind and as you can see I have to switch my language I will do it in the next video and now we have the function implemented and we can um, copy from user access uh, string uh, no 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 we we go to the character repository and we will copy this one because we need the uh, uh, we copy the char access because we need um, this query and we go back to our user repository and paste it in the character model and now we have to delete the count because we don't want to count it and we can delete this uh, because we don't need it as well and now we now we have to change um we have to change this one to our models uh, um, character model and this is th this ID so we can copy this one and go back to the user repository and paste it here and the add value will be our user ID and the same we will change here and yeah now we have to delete the first um, or default because we we need all entries in our in our class and um, then the last thing is uh, we we give back the I will call it characters and the thing we have to do is we have to return it so now if we put here the user ID uh, only the users from from this ID will go here and yeah so this is a repository for this and now we can go to our connection handler and there we need to create a new function and I will Yeah, I will copy this uh, line of code and will copy it and um, now we have to go to our packet types and I will change um, some stuff because we um, want to um, yeah we we want to um, change this uh, to 
Twitter fourth um when the the char is a variable of of um c sharp um like this if you uh, type char it's um type in c sharp and so that you don't think about um that is an um character or an, an variable of c sharp and we uh, define it as creation uh, because uh, we will add let me uh, type a li little bit and and we add to new and we um say i will copy all it's better and we go here and types seven and eight and we delete the creation and swap it to selection selection and here we will do the same selection and now we have to go to our to our character um no i will yeah character uh, um server connection handler and we have to change um the char request sorry and this i need to check and this will be the char creation request and this will be the char selection request and we will say that is a selection um the handle character selection and now we have to go to our character creation package and as you can see we have to change the stuff as we, uh, well here as well and this will be the character creation response and here the same and we have here the creation request and we have to change it here as well and it's the request and now we are yeah we have um, this uh, stuff and now we can create create another stuff so we can copy the both and yeah we will paste it down and now we have to change the values and in this case we have the character selection request and here is the selection request as well and we will say character selection request and we will copy this and paste it down here and we have here the selection response and we have to put the selection one here as well and we can paste it here and we have to change the selection in this case and for the request we um we don't need to put uh, anything here we can delete it and or we can leave it like this because we don't need to send any uh, selection or let's let's change some stuff because um let's delete this one and say is valid and it's an int 
or it's in bool, sorry, and the int error message, and we can we can delete the um u the u int, and we can um say we write the is valid and the error message type or the error message. And we have to change this one to is valid. And I have to change it like this. And we change it here. And we change it here. And this one will be the error message. And this is read string. And this is um, read boolean. This one and ah, it's not a string. It's an int uh, thirty-two because we um, read the error message type. Sorry for this. And in in in. Uh, in the response, we have the is valid um, and the error message, and we have to add the public int char id. It's for uh, the character id, and we have to add the public string char name because this is what we want to send to the server and. We can delete the uint as well, and we write the error message, and we write now the writer dot write, and we write the char id, and we write the char name, and the same is with uh, read. We have to read the char id. And it's um, reader dot read int thirty two, and we have to read our char name, and it's reader dot read ring. And as you can see, we don't have any errors yet. And yeah, the next step we will do in the next video, but. Now I show you um, changing from the last one because we we um, now get an error if we have the wrong the wrong um, password or, or character or, um, or login and so you don't have to uh, kill the client and start the client new. We have to um, take out the uh, Client connection out of the execute function, and we have to put this one in our start function. So we have um, the connection in the start function. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you like my content, you can subscribe me on Patreon, or you can um, leave a like on my videos, or um, write down a comment. And if you have any prob problems, you can join my Discord server and ask for help or write it down in the comments as well. See ya!